Hey guys, this is Zach from Say What Zach here. Doing a arena video review here uh, for the place that clones Blue Jackets call home, Nationwide Arena. I uh, went there last year uh, for the last home game of the season before the playoffs, so they weren't even sure they were going to make the playoffs. They ended up losing that game to the Boston Bruins uh, relatively handily, if I remember correctly. Uh, but they obviously made the playoffs and made that amazing sweep of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So it was good. It was it was a it was a good old. Uh, Good old experience there. So, uh, first overall is the general arena uh, nationwide. is It's a very welcoming, very open arena. I like it. There's uh, the first the wall where I first walked in had cannonballs attached, like in bended bed in the wall. Like they were shot out of the cannon to the wall. It was really cool. Um, they had the deed, the original deed for the the arena and the teams of that for the owner that passed. That was really cool to read. I read through all that. Um, they had a big old like box with the boards, the clear glass with all the names of the people who have gotten hat tricks at the arena. All the Columbus Blue Jackets had hat tricks and the dates and all the hats they collected. It was really cool. It was like this big giant tub. That was that was really cool how they did that. Uh, so I went through and kind of looked at all the names and stuff. That was really cool. And then uh, I just got a picture with my, uh, with the cannon, which you have to do if you go to the, the arena you got to get a picture with the cannon it's actually on the facebook page and i think instagram so they have all that posted but yeah it was a it was a good overall awesome arena they did a really good job at making that arena feel like a part of the city especially since columbus doesn't really have a lot of teams it's the only professional team and then they have the ohio state right there so they have you know, college town but yeah they did a good job making this arena fit into that that city um the fan experience, I really enjoyed the fans there. They were very welcoming. I wore my Winter Classic Boston Bruins hat and my Team North America jersey. So I didn't really wear anything Columbus. I didn't really have anything at the time that was Columbus Blue Jackets related. Uh, not like I do now. But uh, still welcoming. Even the guy that was like kind of the one who shot off the cannon when he was taking my picture, he's like, oh, I like your Team North America jersey. It was awesome. So it was just cool. Very welcoming people. I always cheer when their team scored and way to love that cannon sound and stuff like that. It was, it was a really awesome and golfing experience i really liked it um the food i didn't really eat much there uh, at the arena i ended up getting food outside after but i did get the souvenir cup which is what i'm drinking out of right now um i think it was about average prices for the um uh, overall food uh this i think was like 10 bucks and those are free refills and soda you know average arena pricing um yeah, it seemed like it was pretty good. They have a good selection. There's a couple of bars and restaurants outside the arena afterwards if you guys don't want to eat at the actual arena. So, good options there. And then the fan shop, the actual, like, Columbus Blue Jacket store, was pretty well stocked. It had good selection with jerseys. They had a good clearance section. I almost bought an all-star jersey they had there in clearance. I just couldn't break down and buy it. They had some Cleveland Monsters hats there. They had the, the Pride hats there. They had the um, Hockey Bites Cancer hats there. And this was obviously towards the end of the season where it was like, I think April when we went. So yeah, it was, it was a good selection of stuff, even that late into the season. So overall, I really enjoyed the experience at this city. I've never been to, Cle uh, to Columbus before. I've um, never been there. It's my first visit. My sister was going to a concert and we kind of did a one night stay there. She went to the concert. I went to the game. It was an awesome experience. And afterwards we went up, we met up at Boston Pizza right across the street from the arena's Boston Pizza. Not bad food. But all the ushers got to, I guess they get together after every game and go and eat food there and hang out. And it was like the last game of the season. They were all like, you know, hey, we'll see you in the playoffs. And it was just, it was just a really cool ex city experience. They really took to that team. They really enjoyed their Columbus Blue Jackets. It was really cool. I was very impressed about this place, about this arena. Um, so if you're in Columbus and you want to check out the game, you should definitely go check out Nationwide Arena and the Columbus Blue Jackets. They are diehard fans. And I definitely will be going back to the Serena eventually. Um, if you guys check out the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and some of that, the website, I believe, has some pictures. But I have some pictures and videos posted from the game, too. If you guys want to kind of get an idea, I have, like, a picture of the cannon wall and a picture of me with the cannon. Um, a couple pictures from my seat. So, yeah, it was just, again, it was a very overall, very enjoyable experience. I am looking forward to going back to Nationwide Arena. Uh, again, this is Zach from See What Zach. And you guys should definitely check out Columbus. Look forward to talking to you guys again soon.